What is good YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how to monitor the video from your Sony mirrorless camera. Now from the start, Sony has refused to put an articulating screen in all their Sony mirrorless line. So a lot of people are left to buying an external monitor which can run very pricey, especially the really good ones with a lot of features. And yeah, that is out of my budget and I actually don't have a great need for an external monitor. So I'm going to be showing you how to do it for free. In fact, you probably have everything you need right in front of you. So first, of course, you need the camera, a Mac or a MacBook or a PC. Lastly, the included USB cable that comes with your camera. That's it. We have everything we need to have external monitoring for free. So let's get started on how to get things going. First, you got to go to the Sony website and go and find the Sony Imagine Edge software suite. Now, there are three apps that are included in this suite. First of all is the remote control app, which allows you to control all the settings and everything about the camera from this application. And more importantly, is you can monitor what you see. The viewer app allows you to see everything, all the pictures that you're taking right there on the spot. And the edit, you could have easy access to edit all those pictures that you've taken and are saved in the computer. So once everything is installed, you are ready to prepare the camera. So set your USB connection to PC remote, plug it into the USB and turn on power on the camera. If you don't see the monitor at first, there is a live button on the top right corner that allows you to enable it or disable it. And once you're live, we are ready to go. You see everything and there is a slight lag, but that is okay for setups like this where you're just doing product reviews or just uh, for monitoring purpose to make sure you're in focus. So the lag is no problem. Now where this app really shines is on the uh, all the settings that are available for you to change. We have control for our exposure compensation. You can also take photos and also start and record the video as you would with the camera as well as control the ISO, the image quality size, uh, the aperture shutter, even the aspect ratio. You even have access to the creative FX, which actually I'm not using right now because I'm using the picture profile, the S-Log2, which speaking of which, I usually shoot in S-Log2 and it is very important to have the histogram. That histogram is a need for shooting and monitoring your exposure and that's about it as you can see this app is really handy very useful it's a lot better than having to look at the small little lcd screen on the camera which is kind of hard to tell if you're exposing correctly and to make sure you're in focus and that is it guys if you have a tablet a macbook anything that runs a 64-bit os you will be able to monitor your sony camera Better yet, if you have like a seven inch tablet or eight, eight inch netbook that can have a 64 bit OS, you'll be able to hook this thing up and take it anywhere with you. Really awesome stuff. So if you guys like this video, hit a thumbs up and share it. I know in YouTube, there are not a lot of videos talking about the Sony Imagine Edge software, especially for monitoring for free. And there is another video in my channel that I posted for those vloggers or YouTubers that like to do the selfie vlogging a lot, uh, how to do that with a manual lens. So go ahead and check it out in my channel. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll be seeing you guys on the next one.